This is Ayman Abu Warda, carried through the Jabalia refugee camp in the Gaza Strip. The 23-year-old was just one of Friday's airstrike victims. Ayman was going to fill up a gas cylinder for his home when the plane hit him. It shows the Israelis don't know what they're doing. They can't target the right places. The same strike also killed a two-year-old boy. For families in this district, the dangers got too much. They don't know where they're going to sleep, but they say they can't stay put. You can't sleep safe here, and there's no food and no normal life whatsoever. There's just fear. Whether you're old or young, there's just fear. Friday started with a brief but highly significant visit by Egypt's Prime Minister Hisham Khandil. After meeting deposed Prime Minister Ismail Haniya, he had a message of solidarity for the people of Gaza. This tragedy requires an urgent intervention, serious and honest action from all sides. This is what Egypt has started to do and will continue to do until this aggression is ended, until Palestinian national unity is achieved to the interest of the Palestinian people, until lasting peace is established and the Palestinian state is set up with Jerusalem as its capital. Israel had offered to stop firing missiles into Gaza while Khandil was here, as long as Hamas stopped shooting too. But the fighting by both sides did not stop. One Israeli airstrike hit this textiles factory, a family business. No one was hurt, but it's put 20 people out of work. The way things are, it's not safe to move around. My brother was going to come and check on the factory, but everyone in his family said, don't go. And they were right. He wasn't destined to die. The place where I'm standing was a food store next to the textiles factory. Now, even though the Israeli airstrikes know which buildings they're targeting, inevitably the damage goes much further. Earlier, the Hamas interior ministry was reduced to ruins, but that did nothing to stop the rocket fire into Israel. And now Gaza's factions are threatening to, as they put it, confront the Israeli escalation. As more families mourn their dead, the talk now is of a war to come. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, Gaza.